In this video, we are going to go over four new postulates, all dealing with a plane. Our first postulate in this video is the three-point postulate. So P, four, because we've already went over one, two, and three in a previous video. So postulate four, the three-point postulate says, that through any three non-collinear points, there exists exactly one plane. And we can demonstrate that on this piece of paper. Pretend this piece of paper is our plane. On this plane, I'm going to have point A, point B, and point C. They are non-collinear because there is no way I can connect all three together with a single line. So you can see that through any three non-collinear points there is exactly one plane. The next postulate is the plane point postulate and this is the fifth one we're going over. So I'm going to call this P5. And this states that a plane contains at least three non-collinear points. The plane point postulate is very similar to the line point postulate because the line point postulate stated that a line contains at least two points, whereas now we're dealing with a plane to a point as opposed to a line to a point. Now, a plane contains at least three non-collinear points, and we know this to be true because you need at least three non-collinear points to create a plane. You can have more than three points. We can make another point, point D, but you must have at least three non-collinear points. And that is the plane point postulate. The next postulate we're going over is the plane line postulate. This postulate states that if two points lie in a plane, then the line containing them lies in that same plane. So you can see our plane made up of at least three non-collinear points. However, you only need two points to make a line. So we can draw a line from A to C. These points A and C both lie in the same plane and the line AC, because A and C are contained within that line, also lies in the same plane. And that is the plane line postulate. So the last axiom or postulate we're going to go over is the plane intersection postulate, which will be P7 for us. And it states that if two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. Thinking about the line intersection postulate, we know that when two lines intersect, their intersection is a point. So it makes sense that when two planes intersect, their intersection is a line. So we're going to use this plane. Let's go ahead and name this plane And we're going to use this new plane that I've created. And this is going to be plane Y. Now you can see that if Y was to intersect X, 
you can see that that intersection is a line itself. As you rotate this, all the points where that plane intersects is a line. So that intersection creates a line.